my name is Alan Jeffrey and I'm the uh, technical chair of the Servo project and I'm here today to talk about one of the applications of Servo uh, which is in streaming video using GStreamer um, from WebXR content. So what is Servo? Well, Servo is a browser engine uh, so that's the core of a web browser that's responsible for downloading content off of the internet um, and then displaying it to the user. And traditionally, this has been part of the 2D web using standards such as HTML or CSS or JavaScript, our old friends. Uh, more recently, though, uh, there's been efforts to allow 3D content um, to be displayed using standards such as WebGL and WebXR. And so Servo was originally developed by Mozilla um, and is now part of the Linux Foundation. Um, and the original motivation for, for Servo was twofold. So one of which was finding out whether web components could be developed in Rust um, and then deployed in Firefox. Um, and the other was to experiment with uh, newer web technologies such as WebXR. And the experiment of developing web components uh, using Rust was very successful. And so technologies got transferred out of Servo and into Firefox, such as the Stylo CSS engine um, and the web render graphics backend. Um, but also, like, Servo, like I said, was being used as an experimental platform um, for finding out what you could do with an embeddable uh, web engine. Um, and what kinds of experiences this would enable. And I'm going to be talking about one of those today. So the next bit of the technology stack that we need to look at today is GStreamer. So GStreamer is a streaming media uh, plugin architecture um, where plugins can be sources um, for video or audio, uh, filters such as transcoders, um, or syncs um, such as your file system or streaming over the internet. Um, and the way that content providers use GStreamer is by stringing together um, these uh, plugins into a pipeline where media is consumed at one end, is transformed by various filters, and then is produced in, in a sync. Um, and one of the things that's interesting about GStreamer, from our point of view, is, is that it has uh, quite strong connections into the Rust world. Um, so there are Rust bindings um, for all of the GStreamer APIs, um, and also, uh, it's possible to develop um, GStreamer plugins using Rust. Um, and that's very useful for Servo, um, which is primarily implemented in Rust. Um, and GStreamer is used inside Servo as the uh, media subsystem, uh, but that's not actually what we're looking at today. What we're looking at today is using Servo to provide um, a source. So it's sort of designed to be an embeddable web engine and one of the places we've embedded it um, is into GStreamer. So there's a servo source plugin uh, that you can use to take web content um, and put it into a GStreamer pipeline. So for example, you could use this to uh, lay out the title sequence for a video using HTML and CSS and then use the servo source plugin uh, to produce that as part of your GStreamer pipeline. And one of the nice features about this plugin um, is that it's entirely using GL memory. So if the rest of your pipeline supports GL memory, this means that the video content never actually has to be in the main memory of your machine and can instead reside entirely on the GPU. And if you're familiar with the WebKit embedding into GStreamer, the WPE plugin, um, this is doing a very similar job for Servo. And like I said, you can use this to um, render traditional 2D content um, into a GStreamer pipeline, but you can also use it to render WebXR. So WebXR is the W3C API for developing virtual reality and augmented reality applications uh, using web technologies. And these can be both 2D experiences, such as holding a phone up and seeing a virtual object in your living room, um, and immersive 3D experiences for users wearing appropriate headsets. Um, and for Servo, we've got a WebXR implementation with backends uh, for both the HoloLens um, and the Magic Leap 
um, augmented reality headset. Um, and as part of that, uh, the server development team was quite actively involved with the W3C standards effort. So plugging these three technologies together, so WebXR, Servo and GStreamer, um, this means we can take WebXR experiences um, and put them into a GStreamer pipeline. Um, and this means you can do interesting things that I don't think the um, authors of the WebXR experiences um, intended. So for example, we've got a back end for Servo uh, that renders to uh, red cyan uh, 3D. So if you put on your uh, red blue glasses, um, you can actually then watch a 3D experience at home without a headset. Um, or a, we've also got a, another back end um, that renders, rather than rendering stereoscopic views of a 3D scene, uh, which you would for a headset, um, we render uh, six views of the scene uh, to a cube map. And then we take that cube map and we project it into 360 video. And so this means we have the ability to record um, 360 video out of uh, an arbitrary WebXR scene, um, as long as that scene hasn't hardwired the idea that people only have two eyes. Um, so we've been able to uh, take WebXR content um, that was intended for viewing in a, in a headset, um, and we've now managed to, to reuse it um, for in scenarios that the original authors didn't intend. And this is part of the philosophy of the web, um, is that it should support this kind of accidental reuse.